Hey guys, welcome back to Closet Raid. I'm so excited to be here with Daphne. We're going to raid her fabulous closet. It's literally an entire room filled with amazing pieces and I can't wait to go through them. I'm so excited, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so where do we even start? Like, do you have anything that you've been obsessed with at the moment? Okay, obsessed with, I actually usually keep the clothes that I'm like the most interested in and I want to wear like right here on these racks. Okay. This is where I usually put stuff. I'm dying, I just glanced over you guys <laughs> and I see the Dior visor. This came out, I was- I obviously had to have it. This is so, this is everything. This is the best. I mean, it was, you know, practical purchase. I mean, the fact that it's just like, I mean, do you go to Coachella? I haven't been. You know what's okay. so sad? This year I'm getting my wisdom teeth out, so I can't go. Oh, no. Well, I've whatever. been in the past, though, and if I was going to go this year, I would definitely bring it with me. Yes, 100%. Okay, so tell me what's been your go-to, like, item. Like, So, my number one go-to in my closet is anything by Realization Par. Mm -hmm. Like, this skirt, I think everyone on my Instagram is, like, so tired of seeing me wearing this skirt, but it's just so, like... Flattering. That's how I feel about this coat. It's just like I just can't. It like it can be dressed up. It can be dressed down. And so I feel the same way about their wrap dresses. Okay. Um, I have like four of them because I, they're just so easy. Wrap dress. They're so easy and nice and good quality and they fit well. I like I can't get enough of them. Anything with stars on it mm -hmm. is like such a soft. Like, I feel like and maybe. I feel like you know like an Instagram like cool girl when I wear mm -hmm. this. I'm like ooh like I I'm love Whoopi Cindy like. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. And this is. So so fun. This is the best thing I've ever bought from Zara. I I honestly think out of fast fashion, Zara is my number one. I fully believe it's Versace. Like it's, I, I fully believe it's that. too fabulous, it's, you guys. I love it. Yeah, that's amazing. I almost wore it today. <laughs> oh my, it's so cute. And then okay, I just I'm keep I like keep just pulling keep things. This 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 is actually Tell me from about last, her. This is from last year, so like last spring. Um, my, She's perfect. My amazing and wonderful mother got this for me as a Valentine's Day gift. Thanks, mom. Um, and I actually, I saw Jeffree Star wearing it, and I was literally like, I need it, I need it. Oh my god, it's and I found so the link cute. It's, I mean, it's just like, this is so covetable, and I'll have this forever. Forever. Such a collector's this item. This is a forever piece. I'll never, ever get rid of it. What is something that you feel like you cannot part with, but you would never put on? 90% of this room. <laughs> I'm a literal hoarder. Like, I won't throw anything away. Um, okay, I know what, I know what it okay, is. Okay, show me. I'm ready. It's these, do you remember Charlotte Olympia? Yes. My high school musical shoes. Stop, wait, this is too good. I, I, I'll i never get you rid guys, of them. You guys, are you kidding me right and now? And I'll probably never wear them again. They even have the Wildcat, like, that it's is too good. Amazing, yeah, too good. I'm not letting yeah. you get rid of no. these. You guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so you are constantly traveling. Yes. What's your go-to airport look? My go-to airport look, I think I've perfected it actually. Ooh. Okay, well I think I just have one outfit that I think is really <laughs> cute. I love bike shorts mm -hmm. and a blazer and okay. then a t-shirt and like chunky sneakers. I it's love comfortable, that. but when you get off the airplane, you look super chic. Are there any trends that you're like obsessed with at the moment? Oh, I mean, what am I not obsessed with? I'm, I'm really like so crazy about logo mania. It's like bad. Like anything with a logo on it, like a Dior visor that is not necessary for my life, but I <laughs> see it and I'm like, oh my god, I need it. Yeah, like, it's I need like, it. yeah, logo mania is full force, and I'm definitely here for it. I feel like 2019 is. All and I'm, I'm really logo. obsessed with the trend of like vintage bags, like like 90s, like Dior, Fendi, like all those little bags that the you can like, buy on eBay. I love them. I think they're mm -hmm. so cute. They're really fabulous. Tell me, are there any trends opposite end of the spectrum that you like hate and wish would go away? Neon. Oh my god, she's literally like why a girl a after thing? my own heart. I fully agree. Why? Like, why is that coming back? Why I do feel people like it's like acceptable in very small doses, yeah. like a, the tiniest of accessories. Maybe that'd be like fun and cool and edgy, but yeah. like full neon, I can't even get with it, even on like Kylie or like anything. I mean, I'm saying this, and I realize I have like neon pink shoes right there. <laughs> okay, but you know, though, that's what I, I bought I mean. them years ago. <laughs> that's what I mean. A touch of neon yeah. is like completely acceptable but these full neon looks that we've been seeing mm -hmm. not about it no 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 it's like uh, I just I can't with it do you have a piece in your wardrobe that is something sentimental maybe it was gifted to you maybe it has like some like really special meaning I do I'm gonna go get it so I have this um, Prada denim jacket 
so that cute. was the first like designer piece I ever had. So it definitely doesn't fit me. It's so, so tiny. I think I got it oh, I'm way too young. And it had like a fur collar that has gotten lost over the last like many, many years. But mm -hmm. I will never get rid of this. I will give it to my daughter. Pass It'll be it vintage down. for her. And it will always be very significant because it was the first like designer piece I had that kind of like gave me a taste of the luxury that turned me into the monster that I am today. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> what would you wear on a first date? A first date, I would wear, God, I really want to say the Realization Par dress because I feel like that is what I would wear. Mm -hmm. Cause like, it's just like just such a simple and sexy it's flirty and, and cute and flirty. Yeah, and yeah. not try hard. It's like perfect. I think a simple dress with like depends on where you're going, either sneakers or like a really simple heel and like a little jean jacket. I'm a big fan of the jean jacket. That's like the perfect cute little innocent non man repelling outfit that you yeah, can wear. <laughs> it's so true. Who do you look to for like style inspo? Do you have someone that's like you're obsessed with their oh, feed I'm so, or... Yeah, it's all like Instagram people. I'm really obsessed with Josephine HJ. Do you know who that is? Mm -mm. She's Danish. I'll show you, you're gonna be obsessed I with her feed. See. She's kind of blowing up right now. I'm also really obsessed with um, NYC Bambi. Mm -hmm. She's another Instagram girl. And um, then there's the classics like Eau Couture. Yeah. It's just fabulous. This is so cute. This is like instant like Barbie look. Tell I love about it. This. So this I got from ASOS um, because I went to an event they had that was just like, it was just like a, a launch of like the, the newest season like a yeah. few years ago. And I um, they gave me this dress to wear. It was from like, I, what is the collection? Wa oh, this is a nail salon actually. Wow, oh. London. I don't know if you're, that's saying it right. But um, they did a collab with them and um, I wore it to the event. So. This is so fun. This is like literally. I wore it with like fishnets when those were really, really in. Yes. And then just like black high heels and I think like a little like fur coat. I am in love with this. What's the most bougie thing you have in your wardrobe? The most, the most bougie thing that I own are these Roger Vivier shoes. Because okay. like, I feel like this is a brand that like, your like mother wears to like a ball. And I don't know why I own these shoes, but they're just like, Flawless. They're, they're just so perfect. pretty. And they're just like timeless and classic. But I think stunning. like being like, oh my Vivias, you know why I wanted these? Because Blair wore Vivias on <gasps> Gossip Girl. Oh my gosh, and such like, style and style. I'm obviously Blair. Clearly. I need Vivias. Yes. So yeah, I have these. This is so cute. This is gift from, from Dottie. That's what we all call her. Her oh name's Dorothy. Gosh. She goes by Dottie. Love gift from Dottie while I was at, like in my freshman year of school and I was really homesick and like not really having the best time. And so every now and then she would send me a little thing in the mail to just like perk up my day. This she, is so cute. When did you wear this last? This is from Pixie Market, which is a fabulous, like kind of underground online. So do you know it? I oh, you have to go on Pixie mm -hmm. Market. Oh, they have the best stuff. Pixie Market? Uh, Pixie is it Market. international? Yeah. No, made yeah. in USA. Is it? I don't, I'm like I, shook I don't right now. Know. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Oh, you're, you're totally right. Yeah. Super like affordable, like little random brand that sells the chicest stuff. I bought this just to wear at school. Um, just because it's, it's so, just a so good cute top. and it's comfortable and easy. I'm in love with this. And still looks chic, so. so. Yeah, so cute and put together, but yeah. like really comfy. How would you describe your style? My style has evolved so much over time. I think it's very like chic with elements of minimalism and very European. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very into like European aesthetic. 90s supermodel. Yeah, 90s yes. supermodel with a touch of your grandma's house. Ooh, that is giving me everything right now. <laughs> Let's talk about shoes because okay. you have a shoe if wall. If you didn't know, I like shoes. Oh my gosh, you guys, her shoe wall is just too fabulous. And how fun are these? <laughs> like, are you kidding me right now? I mean, they're so ridiculous, but I love them. I love them so I much. I love ASOS and just like, just like combing through they their really website for it. hours at night until I find something. So cute. And then I impulsively like buy these. Oh, my favorite flat would be these. <gasps> you guys, I'm dying over these. I had to like campaign to my mother to get these shoes. I got them, I think last year for my birthday. I was like, I really, really, really wanted the heels, mm -hmm. but I had just started college and she was like, when are you gonna Stop wear practical. those? So we got the flats and I I, I, I still, I will have the heel one They're day. So I will have all three heights one day. Freaking fabulous. They're just like, oh, these, these were just the start of it all. Practicality in terms of what's gonna look the best and go with things, I go with these, which are like the basic, classic like blue bouton, which are not. These ones aren't as uncomfortable as people would think because they're not the super high heel. And then, in terms of whimsicality, these Mew Mew Mary Jane. Mew Mew is the most fun. <laughs> Mew Mew. My mom like won't take me in these stores because I walk in and I'm just like, oh, 
Like, it's dangerous. I need everything. It's so dangerous. It's so bad. This is so fun. Janessa got me that. Oh my god. Hey, Janessa. <laughs> this is so cute. I don't even know. I think she got it from some random store on Melrose, but it's just it's so it's, soft. It's fabulous. It feels like just a cloud. This is, I love, because I love this collar. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of preppy, but I don't know. And like you can just pair it with anything and just make the outfit so different. Yeah, I love it. It's a great color too. This is obviously this so one is, great. This is super old. This I'm is, obsessed with this the is actually Alice and like, Olivia. This is so, so cute. I, I just love it with like a simple mm -hmm. little black dress. Yeah. And then you have this like pearl handbag oh, yeah. with your like little like peep toe flat. Mm -hmm. I mean, like a uh, pointed You're toe. Me outfit inspo. Ooh, I can just see it. I actually have been carrying this since I've been home and I didn't have it with me at school and I'm thinking that I need to bring it back you, with this me. This is like a 1000% crossbody. Like, isn't it? You yeah. can dress. Uh, I'm obsessed with this, you guys. Okay, I brought some chocolate. Woo! Do you like these? Of course. Okay, these who doesn't like those? They're like better than Reese's peanut butter cups. And then if we wanted savory. Oh my gosh, I actually really like these. I've these never are, tried them. They're actually really good. <gasps> okay. They're like a fake Cheeto. Okay. See, they're like a fake like Cheeto puff. Mmm. They're good. So here we go. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Heels or flats? Heels. Grilled chicken or fried chicken? Fried chicken. Duh. Designer or thrifted? Designer. Chips or ice cream? Ice cream. Long nails or short nails? Long. Bikini or one piece? One piece. I love a good one piece. Heavy eye or a dark lip? Heavy eye. Silver or gold? Gold. <sighs> I'm such a gold girl. I'm I was ridiculous. admiring these earrings. They're so pretty. Oh, thank you. They're I love these. gorgeous. Twitter or Snapchat? Twitter. What about lash strips or lash extensions? I just got lash extensions, so we'll go with extensions. Texting or talking on the phone? texting and what about shopping online or at the mall online planned out or spontaneous planned out too much of a control freak <laughs> black and white or color black and white and tea or coffee tea what about celebrity crush my celebrity crush is Jamie Dornan. I don't even know who that is. Oh my god, the Fifty Shades of Grey guy. Oh, okay. I didn't watch any of those movies. I know. I'm like <sighs> really out of the loop. I actually was But he was cute. Before. Like he was really handsome. Yeah. Is he on something else that I would know? He okay, he he played a serial killer <laughs> in the cute. show called The Fall. It was really good. It was like I think a BBC show. Okay. But it was really good. He is definitely my celebrity crush. All of your style inspo comes from like Instagram girls. Right. Like, really yeah. cool, fun. So I'm gonna go through your page. Oh my gosh, I love it. Tell me about this day. Okay, so this day, um, I went to Paris with my boyfriend for New Year's. And, Magical. Um, he, love yeah. it already. <laughs> we decided to go to the Louvre and just like wander around. And I was like, I want to find the like indoor sculpture garden. Let's find it. And not only did we not have a map, I had no idea what it was called. And the Louvre oh, is massive. No. We're walking and we're walking and we're walking. Oh, and we're just never getting there. Finally, my boyfriend stubbornly, as he did not want to, asked a guard and then <laughs> we found it and then we took pictures and we're like left and we're like, let's not come to the loop for a long time. <laughs> this is the fabulous dress that we saw. Thank you. Tell me about this. So I filmed a YouTube video um, actually filming all of my outfits in Paris. One of those outfit of the week videos. You know, we were in the spot. I had the outfit and everything. I was like, let's get some photos as well. And that's what this photo is. This is to die for. You're the cutest. Oh, thank you. You. you know, just freezing my butt off, having taken my coat off in freezing Paris to try to get the shot. Looking fabulous. Um, yeah, at the Palais Royale where like everybody who goes to Paris goes to take Instagram photos. I love it. I sat because I was trying to like not look like everyone else who's like standing. I don't know. It's cute. You pulled it off. <laughs> Tell me about this. So that was over the summer in Positano and I had seen someone with a photo in that spot and then we just stumbled upon the spot and I was like, wait, I think this is like in one of the photos. So stopped, took a pic. I was exhausted. Living. And I was just like, look. but you know what? We pulled it off. The hat, the dress. Hey. Who's the dress by? It's actually, so it's, is it um, a two piece? yeah, it's like a wrap with a built in like swimsuit from Revolve. It's so And then good. just a little uh, one piece swimsuit underneath. Revolve kills it. Revolve kills Ooh. it. So much fun. Me too. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for ha like letting me come read of your course. closet and having so much fun. And I will link everything of your down below. Fabulous, thank Go you. follow her. She has a YouTube channel. It's it's in the works. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, comment, let us know what your favorite thing in her closet was, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.